Hey everyone, welcome back to The Wandering Wind. I'm your host, Gregory, and today I'm going to be talking a bit about the situation with Boogie 298. I'm actually going to be reacting to a video from a guy called CoffeeZilla, who made a, who actually did an interview with Boogie about the whole situation. So we're actually going to see exactly what happened from um, that whole perspective. So let's go ahead and get into this. I'm going to go ahead and switch over to my screen cap, and we're just going to start in. Today I confronted Boogie2988 on a crypto pump and dump he did where he got paid $10,000 to promote a coin, and he said that he thought that just because he said, hey, don't buy this unless you're rich, uh, that nobody was going to put their money in. A few hours later, $3 million worth of trading volume had been done, and I tried to... Oh, what? $3 million? Hey, guys, can you give me $3 million? <laughs> Good gosh. How bad is this? How bad is this? Oh, my tell him and explain to him that that's how these deals work. Insiders pay you, the celebrity, to go ahead and promote something. They paid him $10,000 and they paid him 10 grand up front. Wow. Okay. So pay a guy 10 grand, make three mil. Okay. Yeah, this is a scam. It has to be. It has to be a scam. No other way. No other way. It has to be a scam. Good lord. Boogie, what did you get yourself into, man? Then people end up buying the coin. It doesn't matter what you say. The whole point is they're renting your likeness, renting your image in order to do that. He then told me, well, you know, basically he's paying for cancer, so he can't pay that money back. It's all spent. Money's spent. Money's gone. Um, and I tried to get to the bottom of why he did it, why I think that he didn't actually care whether it was a scam or not. Because he actually came to me ahead of time. It was a really weird story where he came to my DMs before he fully launched the coin. He had just done an announcement tweet saying, hey, you know, uh, at pump.fun. Pump.fun, I've heard of them before. They're actually not a great company. They they sell out these kind of meme coins or as the um, as the kids call them, coins. And um, they... Uh, they they do this because they know they're gonna make money. They know they're gonna they're gonna because these people the 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 people who found the coin have a bit of the coin and they're worthless at first, right? They're worthless. And then they make a little bit of money and they cash out as soon as it peaks. And it usually takes about a week. So let me let's see what which is the platform he was launching on. And then he said to me, Hey, I got a question for you, something like that. And I said I looked at his Twitter profile and I said, don't do what I think you're about to do. Yeah. Um, good advice, man. Good advice. Don't do this. Just, just don't. Don't do it. Don't do it. But I bet, I bet what the answer was going to be. I know what it is. And he said, oh, it's too late. Like I already spent the money, hospital bills and stuff. Um, so I, I thought it was really weird. Like, why would you come to the guy who busts scams if you thought it was all on the up and up? Uh, because that's what he tries to say is, no, if I'd only known, if I'd only seen ahead of time what this was, I wouldn't have done it. If he'd only seen it ahead of time, he would have, he wouldn't have, okay. uh, Very strange story, though. Huh. I want you to hear from Boogie2988 himself, though, about this. Decide what you think. In general, I think it's fine to say people should not be investing in memes. I just think it's also obvious that marketers wouldn't pay people if people didn't fall for this stuff. Ultimately, they are scamming your fans. They get on, in on the coin early. They sell as your fans pile in. I hope we can continue to expose celebrities who do this, such as Boogie. Um, desperate or not, it's not okay. There are other ways to make money, and... Yeah, here's the call we had. Boogie, it looks like you launched a crypto token uh, that is a scam, a pump and dump. What do you have to say for yourself? Well, I don't think it's a pump and dump. It is a meme coin. It's literally from a thing called pump.fun. What are you talking about? I didn't. I never knew who pump.fun was until today. Well, that's what you tweeted. That's what you tweeted. You said, oh, we're going to break. I, I learned about it today, so I also tweeted about it today. Uh, so try to find a time I tweeted about it before today. You won't because I just found out that I didn't know who this company is or these people I'm working with other than they came referred to me by Afro Man's manager. Right, but and you said before you posted the pump and dump, you said we're going to cross the internet, pump.fun. You didn't realize at that point you're doing a pump and dump that you're getting paid by insiders to do this? Well, not really because, again, if you watch the video that I launched this with, the entire video, the entire bit, the entire joke is I lost all of my money in crypto. But I'm here to tell you the truth and the hacks to help you break free from the matrix so you can be a brokey like me. <laughs> hey, Bookie. 
<laughs> I, I've got a better way to be able to do that, man. You don't have to, you don't have to shell out for a meme coin in order to teach people how to be broke. You know what you do? <laughs> you buy video games and you spend money on pointless streaming services. That's what you do. <laughs> oh, gosh. Happiness comes from a goldfish, from the same woman a couple of nights a month, and the occasional meme coin. Fatty for life. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what was the coin called? Was it called Fatty? Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Okay, all right. Here's my shit coin. If you want to be broke too, buy my shit coin. That's what I say in my tweets. What's the joke about you getting paid to do this though? Genuine question. What what is the what And is asking the people joke? to invest in this coin. I mean what's what's the joke exactly? You know people are gonna invest. That's why you're getting paid. You know that. I thought people would buy one coin to come onto the, the server and hang out and fuck around. That's what I thought. That's my understanding, and that was the point. You know, when we, they were pitching this to me, they're like, don't be like Logan Paul, don't be these other people. We want you active in the community. We want you to talk. We want you to be there. This is your community. Be part of it. And so it seems very easy for me to do this with another company to collect. You were asking people to invest in a financial product, not just a community, right? You understand that. This is not. Yeah, um, it's one thing if you want people to, like, pay an entry-level fee to be part of, like, a uh, private Discord server or something like that. By the way, I do have a Discord server down below if you want to um, join it. It's it's definitely not polished. It's definitely not set up right. I've definitely got a lot of work to do for it. But if you want to join in and want to chat with me, go ahead. Not like, hey, pay pay a buck and you get access to my community. People think that they're going to make money. That is why there's $3 million of trading volume on this little shitcoin that you just promoted. Well, I... Yeah, I mean, come on. Seriously. Every single time a new coin comes out or every single time... A um a fork of like Ethereum comes out. You see all these investors pumping into the new fork because hey, the price is going to go up. People are going to buy in, and then once it, once it starts to fall, we pull out, making double or even triple our our money's worth, while the rest of them lose it all because they didn't have enough to even buy a full coin. Because Lord knows, no one has that kind of money anymore told them they won't make money i literally told you you go broke buying this coin you you told, can't I think in, in the tweets and in the videos i said don't buy this coin you'll go broke if you want to be broke like me buy this coin <laughs> okay that's not a defense I, i'm sorry that's not a defense that's 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 a cop out man that's a cop out there's literally no way you believe you're going to get paid ten thousand dollars for something, and those people aren't expecting a greater return on their investment. This is how meme coins work. Their money back, but I mean, there are plenty of companies that I've worked with that are just there to get their name out, and they're glad to make their money back, or even spend money to get name recognition. I can name a dozen. These people are spending money to get Pump Dot Fun meme coin name recognition. I know, right? Uh, like, who wants name recognition on a on a on a scam that they already probably have people invested in? It's more about. It's less about name recognition, and it's more about getting people to buy in so that they can cash out. But I digress. I, I, I presume. Let me explain how this works, Boogie. Let me explain how this works. Pumped Up Fund is a place where a lot of things happen, but celebrities will launch meme coins. How it works is insiders pay them for their brand to juice it for all it's worth. They buy in early. They have the influencer promote it. The price jumps up because no matter what the influencer says, the attention gets people to put money in the stupid project, no matter how much. Yep. But any pro. And any publicity, even bad publicity, is still publicity. It still works out. You tell them, oh, it's a meme, guys. It's just a joke. It's just a fun little joke. They're going to put their money in because they like you. And they're going to get rugged. They're going to get destroyed by the insiders who got in early on the coin. They yeah. have all the advantage because they got in early. All your fans have the disadvantage because they got in late. These coins yep. always spike at the beginning. They always die. You, you think you're going to be around this community for a long time. You're not. Within six months, this thing is going to be dead. Very true. I mean, if the community is dead, I won't have anybody to talk to. Exactly. There it is. <laughs> if the community is dead, I won't have anyone to talk to. Boogie, you have my number. I have your number. Talk to me, dang it. Don't just talk to no one. Give me a call. Send me a text. Add me on Discord again. I lost your server. I, lo I lost everything. My last account got hacked and got deleted. Good Lord left the server but i if there's, if there's people to talk to i'll talk to them why wouldn't i because you got paid up front sure How, okay Brother, i don't know if you understand what my life is like right now but i have so much free time 
that I spend a lot of it on my Discord now because I'm just bored out of my mind. I don't have places to go. I don't have money to spend. I'm literally just fighting for my life over here, and a lot of that involves staying home, spending my money where it needs to be spent, and trying to just not stress myself out to make my polycythemia vera any worse. How, how <laughs> Coffee looks like he's just done with the conversation already, and it's only been seven minutes into the video. <laughs> Good lord. How much did you get paid for this, total? I was given $5,000 up front with a promise of $5,000 on the back end after a week of coming on the Telegram, doing some live streams, doing some tweets about it, and all along the ways, talking about how it's a shit coin that'll make you go broke. You know why they want you around for a week? You know why they want you around for a week? Because that's how long it takes for them to pull out, and then they end up going and taking everything that they've made, and they leave the rest with nothing. That's what it is. You know why they tell you to do it for a week, right? That's how much time they oh, need to get out, out of the coin. They're going to slowly <laughs> drain the coin as people buy in. They're going to use whatever's worth of your name to dump on your fans. You know that. Oh, oh, dang. I haven't even been in the crypto business for quite a while, and I still know these things because I've been, I've been, I've been burned before. I've been scammed before, and good Lord, I, I, I still got it. Well, I, if you're telling me that, I believe you. That's how. If you're telling me that, boogie. He knows this stuff. Oh, meme coins work. I told you in DMs not to do this. You you came to me because you were about to launch this coin. It was launched. You told me after my first tweet. I I, I, can't, I literally said to you, the, the question before that was like, hey, man, can we talk real quick? You said, don't do it. I, I said, I have some questions. And you said, don't do it. Um, but at that point, today, it was already too late. The first tweet was out. And no, you no, 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 no. There was no contract. There was no video out. You The money's already spent. That's It's, it's, at, it's at Mercy Hospital right now. It's gone. I used it to pay debts. You used it to pay debts at the hospital. Dude, how hard up are you for money? I mean, good lord, can't can't you do a GoFundMe? Oh wait, no, you tried that, and people hated on you for. Oh, well, I mean, I can see why you'd be this desperate, but come on, man. I used to pay medical debt, so I. You didn't have to tweet that tweet. You didn't have to tweet it out. You came. To, you said you like did the like pre-announcement hype thing, and then you sent you sent me a message asking me, oh, I've got some questions. I immediately tell you don't do it. Then you don't listen to me. You say it's too late. I cast the check. Need it for medical bills. Isn't it just a shitcoin, a meme? No one's actually gonna buy the thing. And then three million dollars worth of trading volume happened. <laughs> Never assume something that you promote is not gonna make money. Not for you, but for the other people. Yeah, I was not expecting that, obviously. You know who was? <laughs> like, I, duh. You know who was expecting this? The people that asked you to promote it. I was expecting that? The people who paid you. I obviously don't want anybody to lose money. I thought there was going to be some trading. I thought people would buy enough coins to join the community and come and fuck around and have fun. I thought no one buys a crypto coin to join a community and have fun. They, join, they buy a crypto coin because they think they're going to have it jump up in price and they're going to be able to sell it later for a profit that's what it ah boogie boogie you sweet summer child stop being so stop being so innocent man it, it ain't doing you any good anymore thought they might spend a little bit of money like they do on cameo or, or patreon or only fans to have some personal interaction that's what i was expecting i was <laughs> this is not <laughs> this is not cameo this is not patreon this is not only fans this is not coffee this is not super chats. This is cryptocurrency. You don't you don't buy cryptocurrency to support a creator. You buy cryptocurrency to pay, to get a payout later. That's what you do, Boogie. I wasn't expecting anybody to think they're going to make money from this, especially because I specifically told them you will not make money from this. Everyone says that. Everyone says you're not going to make any money from this. You're not going to make any money from this. And guess what? Every time they're proven wrong because you do make money from this. Maybe not the people that buy in at like one dollar a piece, but definitely the people that buy in at a hundred dollars in the beginning, and then sell out at ten thousand later. Don't you think it's um, kind of gross, given that you know firsthand, almost better than anyone, the damage that speculative investments can do? <laughs> I like this guy. <laughs> I like this guy because he takes. <laughs> he takes the time he doesn't stop the video but he pops up with this kind of stuff as he's talking about you like this guy that you would then make money from a speculative investment like this i put my money in the crypto market in the wrong section and i pretty much lost most of everything all right that's why i'm telling people don't make a speculative investment here because i lost my ass like if you watch the video hopefully you'll include it in your video parts of it but in the video i talk about how broke i am how i lost my money on crypto i talk about if you want to be broke like me join my community <laughs> if you want to 
<laughs> if you want to be broke like me, buy into this coin and then lose money. Yeah, uh, that ain't gonna... That ain't... And I... Right, you're doing a satire of Andrew Tate's crypto coin. That's what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Where... Okay. Whereas he's saying, join it, make money. I'm saying, join it, lose money. And yeah. you think that's okay to then financially tie money for yourself <laughs> where you can hurt your audience. You think that's fine as long as you say, oh, join it and you can lose some money. Even though you know join with your following, people are going to invest in that. Would. I mean, I, I'm steadfast in this. Yes I, I, yes, I believe that if I got paid to tell you don't buy something, I'll gladly take that money. If I get paid to tell you this will might be dangerous for you, uh, invest smartly. Yes, I think I'd love to get paid. I'd love to be paid to be an example of somebody who lost their ass in crypto. And not Being paid as an example of someone who failed is one thing. Being paid to promote something that is going to cause other people to fail is another thing. I I wouldn't even do that. I wouldn't even, oh, good gosh. No, I'm going to teach people that very important lesson. I think that's a very good lesson to learn. A boogie, that, here, here's an illustration for people who aren't getting this. Um, I mean, I, I know you all probably do, but if you don't, it would be like me as a recovering addict or recovering alcoholic going and promoting an alcoholic beverage because they paid me money. Knowing that what it did to me could happen to other people, but me not caring because my wallet is more important. You see how the cognitive dissonance just goes from bad to worse. You see how that works? It, 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 it looks bad. It looks awful. You think making people lose money, that's a good lesson? No, I wanted to keep them from doing that. I wanted to get the message out to make sure they didn't. That's the point. I thought it would go viral as a meme coin, as a joke, as a comedy bit. I thought that it would make people laugh. I thought people. An investment is never a comedy. Like people who are trying to tie comedy to investments, it's, it's hilarious. Make an invest yeah, people, people who try to co tie comedy to investments is hilarious, but tying comedy to investments is not funny. And I didn't expect anybody to make a large investment. Why would they? I told them not to. Okay, okay. Um, let me ask you this: When were you paid the five thousand? <laughs> Five days ago. Oh gosh! So it's almost two days left before he gets the other five grand. Let's hope he makes the right decision and pays people back. Five, five days, days ago. ago. Less than a week. Were you paid in cash or were you paid in like crypto? Cash, obviously. Yeah. Oh, cash, obviously. I ain't touching that crap with ten foot pole. Fair enough. Fair enough. If I got burned, I wouldn't go back. Okay. And you're being... I, I hold none of, I, as far as I know, it's my understanding I hold none of this coins. I don't have any coins in my wallet. Uh, it's my understanding they've set aside 2% for me, but I don't have a way to receive that. Um, so I, I don't know what good that does me. And 2% of nothing I thought was nothing anyway, so who cares? No, but now the, the coin is, <laughs> your coin that you told no one to buy is being bought, unsurprisingly. And mm -hmm. now it is worth something. Are you then going to sell that too? Well, he said he didn't have any in his wallet and he has no way to receive it to a wallet. So probably no, but... If you get a hold of it, are you going to sell it? No, I will not sell. I won't be able to get a hold of it. I don't have a wallet anymore. Well, they can just sell it for you. They can just make money for you. Are you going to take it? Oh, ah. Ow. I wouldn't, but Boogie, with his mindset, he might. Jeez. This is painful. For a guy like him, is painful to watch. Okay. Thousand dollars, and then people end up buying the coin. It doesn't matter what you say. The whole point. Well, I, if you're telling me that, I believe you. That's how meme coins work. I told you in DMs, investments can do. That's okay to then find. Invest smartly. Yes, I think I'd love to get paid. I'd love money, even though you know you with your following, people are going to invest in that. I mean, I, I'm steadfast in this. Yes, I, I, yes, I believe that if I got paid to tell you don't buy something, I'll gladly take that money. If I get paid to tell you this will might be dangerous for coin as a joke, as a and you're being I, I hold none. No, I will not sell. I won't be able to get a hold of it. I don't have a wallet anymore. Well, they can just and two percent. No, I will not sell. I won't be able to get a hold okay. of it. I don't have a wallet. Right, well, they can just sell it for you. They can just make money for you. Are you going to take it? If I'm being genuine with you, and I do want to be genuine with you and the rest of the internet, I'm in pretty dire need of money. Uh, I have a lot of medical bills, and I'm fighting cancer, and I very much like not to, uh, not to, you know, fuck around with my healthcare too much. But that's something I would genuinely have to consider. And I know that from watching your videos in the past, if I say maybe here, uh, a lot of people are going to take that as a no, and and it might end up being a no. Uh, so I may as well give you a hard no here because uh, I I very very much need the money. I'm on a, I'm on eighteen hundred dollars for the medications right now. I need the money to pay for that. I have a two thousand dollar a month mortgage. 
I, I, I genuinely would like very much to keep my home. I very much like, but I don't want to do it at the price of ripping anybody off. And I, I that I is kind of what's happened here a, a little bit, though. You know that. Yeah, the sad thing is he has kind of ripped people off. He has kind of a, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you've informed me of that, and I'm very sorry for that. I, I hope people listened. I hope people heard what I had to say. I hope people remember, like, you're buying into a community that's there to make fun of me for losing my ass. That's the entire point of the community. You're supposed to, as a crypto bro, come in and maybe you throw me a bone because, you know, I have medical bills and shit to pay. Uh, but that's for millionaires. I want multi-millionaires to make more They're really Wait, 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 what? What? Okay. So first, Boogie wanted just people to buy in, like buy one coin to, go, to join a server, to join a community. And now he's saying he wants the crypto bros to come in and buy more of it to, to raise the price so that he can make more money. So, oh my, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Boogie, you're digging yourself a hole, buddy. Really not throwing you a bone, though. They're throwing the people who paid you a bone. Like, the people who are investing in this coin are enriching not you the most, but the people who paid you. And that's the whole grift. It's like people are getting celebrities to rent out their reputations to milk them for all their worth. What you're describing, I, 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 I charge for memberships on YouTube. YouTube takes half. You're talking about grift that every company does on the entire internet. I didn't think it would be an unfair percentage. I didn't think otherwise I wouldn't have signed up for it. No, I'm talking about a pump and dump because this is not this is not some kind of like obvious, oh, this is a membership. This is to make money, right? That's what meme coins are about, making money. You can't you can't You can't compare memberships on YouTube to a meme coin. I'm sorry. You can't, Boogie. Because a meme coin kind of presents the promise of a possible return, whereas a membership on a platform is just you sharing just you basically paying the creator for the fact that you enjoy them that's it that's all it is well i, I accept the fact that you're telling me i'm ripping people off and i accept that that might very well be true and i don't mean to be <laughs> ouch boogie the way that you said that it's like Ow. And it was not my intention. My intention was to be a spectacle, as I've always chosen to be on YouTube, for people to look and laugh and realize that I'm the fat, dumb idiot that lost his money in crypto. To drive home the point that crypto is not a smart or safe investment, and you have to be very careful with your money. I said that in the video. I said that on the, the Telegram. I said it on Twitter, and I'll say it again here. And I genuinely do not think anybody would think... That this isn't some grand point. You're just making 10K. This is just... Yeah. Fair enough. He's not making a point with the whole crypto thing, because he's promoting a crypto thing. And he's literally... I don't... Boogie, what are you thinking here, buddy? You making 10K. I think you can do both. <laughs> I think you can make a point and get paid to do it. Yes, but not in this way. Yes, but not on crypto. Not with crypto. I think you can do both. Are you getting paid from this video? Will you be making a point in this? Okay. It's not an apples-to-apples -apples comparison for that, though, buddy. Am I going to be am I going to be selling a product? Am I going to be selling a crypto token? No. I don't know. Will it have an advertisement? I don't know. I don't know how you run your channel these days. I haven't seen you in a while. Ouch. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I don't know if you're running ads on this, and I don't know if you have a sponsor, but you might. Do you think that's the same thing as a financial selling a financial product? I thought it was going into it. I'm now beginning to believe uh, that you're crap, and it's not. Okay. Now, okay. That you, if you start to believe that I'm correct, are you willing to try to avoid the damage you might do to people by one, not selling your tokens, and two, maybe giving back? The back half of, you said the first half is spent. I don't know if that's true. I'm just trusting you here. But actually giving back the 5K you're going to be making back to the community, locking it, making sure that uh, people aren't going to get hurt further? No, I'm, I'm going to pay my medical bills next month with that last half. And I'm sorry to anybody that's disappointed with that. I have an $1,100 medication plus a $300 medication. I get a bunch of medicine. I'm going to buy medicine with it, man. And if people are disappointed with that, I fully understand that. It's a shitty thing to do and I'm a shitty person for doing it. You can have that opinion. I'm okay with it. Uh wow. Okay, so I now realize that what I did was bad. I made off of I made money off of something that was bad. I have the I have the capability to probably at least somewhat pay people back and and help them not hurt as much. But I'm not going to because I still need the money. That is not a good look, Boogie. It's not a good look at all. Um, that said, about burning the coins, I it's something I'll have to seriously consider. Uh, okay, so. my immediate answer is it, it, I'll need to survey the damage I'll need to understand what people have lost I'll need to understand um, how much good burning those coins will do and if it if it's going to make a genuine impact uh, I, I think I'd consider making the sacrifice yes I think I would make the sacrifice if I thought it was going to make a genuine impact uh, 
I, d I don't believe you. I think you're going to try to get as much money out of this as you can. I mean, that's a fair assumption compare, considering the situation Boogie's in. It is a fair assumption. Well, if it's probably the last thing I'll get to do, and I bet after this video is live, I don't think a lot of people are going to trust me moving forward. Uh, that might be the smart move, but I'm still going to consider that. Well, you, I mean, you did just sell out your community, and your answer is sort of like, oh, I have bills. But look, okay. everyone's got bills. You have uh, medical bills. That's horrible, obviously. You know, I, yeah. I wish you the best, but is there not any other way to make money than launching meme coins? Well, I'm currently selling every collectible I own to try to keep my head above water. Um, I'm making YouTube videos as much as I can, but I make $20 a YouTube video if I'm lucky. Uh, because Boogie, I'd be happy making $20 a YouTube video. What are you talking about? My channel's completely demonetized. <laughs> I have my podcast, and I'm working as hard at the podcast as they'll let me, uh, but there's only so much we can do there, and it's bringing in $2,000 a month. Um, so collectively, I'm bringing in about $3,500 a month. Without medical bills, I need about six grand to survive. With medical bills, I need close to eight or nine, and I've... Nine grand to live. Boogie, have you thought about re remortgaging or reverse mortgaging your house? Oh, wait. Yeah, you probably have run out of savings so i'm selling everything i can to just try to keep my head above water here and i think it might go uh i, I know we made a big joke out, out of it on the, the documentary that i filmed last year but the reality of it is i'm very sick and it's very difficult to get work i took this opportunity because i thought it was a fair one if it's not then i'm asking why okay let me ask you this if every op other opportunity in your life is not paying a ton of money and all of a sudden out of nowhere a crypto token wants to pay you ten thousand dollars you think that's suddenly going to be a fair thing? I mean, everyone knows, like, everything's about risk, reward. The shadiest people pay the most money. Why did you think that was, oh, that's going to be fine? Because in my experience, a lot of these crypto bros are multimillionaires. To them, $10,000 is a blink of an eye. They but they're not paying $10,000. They're paying, collectively, they're paying $3 million. You're not even getting a chunk of that, Boogie. You're literally getting chump change while these people that used your image are making millions. What are you doing, Boog? They could burn $10,000 on their front wall. No, they're paying it to make money from your fan base. I thought it was as a dream. I thought it was as a joke. I thought it was a bit. The joke is I they're getting rich or what? Do a bit. Do what? The joke is they're getting rich or what? I hope they're not getting rich because uh, I sure is feeling from it. I hope nobody's losing money and I hope they're not taking it. I hope nobody's taking money from this. I hope nobody loses money. Well, that's imp Well, that's kind of impossible now. Possible when you have $3 million in trading volume. It's just right. impossible that no one's lost money here. As I told you, my friend, I did not expect anything like that. I, I certainly didn't. I tried to tell you. I tried to tell you before you made that post announcing the actual yeah. coin. Yeah. A lot of people don't take advice from people on the front end. They take advice. They they take criticism from people on the back end. I mean, you told me five minutes before I made it. Yeah, but I appreciate it. Oh, ow. Oh, yeah, thanks. You, uh, you, you warned me five minutes ahead of time. I, I couldn't stop it then because, well, I had to make a post in five minutes. You could have taken five minutes and said no, maybe not this time. Yeah, thank you. You tried, and I appreciate it. Okay, well, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. How do we stop influencers from doing this, Boogie? Everyone's taking these deals. Everybody wants to get rich, and they don't care if their fans suffer. Well, I mean, what do you think we can do? Just tell me. What can I do to educate people? Because this is like a Sisyphusian battle. Every day it's someone else selling out. What can I do? How can I educate people? Can someone give me a moment to think about it? I'm sure this will be edited a little bit. I hope because I'm going to need a pause here if that's okay. So I really want to think it through. Um, you need to get the message out that there is no such thing as a safe promotion for this, that there is no such thing as uh, people not losing money. If you're telling me everyone's losing money on this guaranteed, then I needed to have the understanding that no matter what I did, all I was doing was stealing from somebody. I He probably did give you that 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 information, Boogie, but, you know, desperation makes fools out of all of us. And if you were really in a desperate spot, you weren't going to listen no matter what. I, I get it. I do, buddy. I do. I've done some crappy things in the past. I've done some things I'm not proud of. I've I've grifted for money when I needed it. I've, I've apologized and I've been honest about it, but I've also been very, you know, Dang, though. Dang, dude. I didn't think that. I didn't understand that. You're telling me that now, and I'll never do anything like this again. I'll, I'll do my due diligence here. I do have some integrity, and I'm going to do the work that I'm paid to do. But after that, I'll never do this again, because I, you are telling me the only op outcome is that people get ripped off. I, I, if I had that understanding going into this, I would not have done it. Okay. Thanks, Boogie. Uh, I appreciate it. I hope yeah, you get I really better. You, I hope I, I hope you, uh, you get better with your sickness. And um... I, yeah, It's cancer, man. It, uh, you don't, you, people don't generally get better. Uh, but... <laughs> Tell that to my mom. She got better. I appreciate that. Thank you. Okay. All right. Yeah. Have a good one. Thank you.
Okay, so that, that if there's one the, thing that was the entire stick with that. So okay, so Boogie shilled out for a meme coin, made out like a bandit, is reaping the, the rewards of that. But I have to wonder, is there more to the story? I mean, I, I, I know I know that there's a lot of a lot of evidence against Boogie right now. I know that there is. I know. He's a friend. Well, an acquaintance. He's an acquaintance, really. I can't even call him a friend much anymore because, you know, we never talk. You kind of have to talk to people in order to have friends. But, you know, it is sad to see that this happened. It is sad to see that Boogie has made a literal meme out of himself once again. Can I say I'm surprised? No. Can I say that I'm happy? No. Can I say that I'm praying for you? Yeah, Boogie, I'm praying for you. And if you see this, and I hope you do, I hope that you find a way to, to get out of this situation, to, to get out of the hole you're in. And I hope you do it in a more reputable manner. Now that I don't think that you're not a good person, you are, you're a good person. But you just need to find something that works. That's not going to hurt people. Anyway, guys, that's just my take on the whole situation. I wanted to share it with you and kind of just talk about it. I hope you guys have a wonderful evening. Take care. And I'll see you again soon. Bye.